start by um, giving a, providing a little bit of background to the film um, and describe exactly what were the Houston riots. This film is called The 24th. It's about uh, basically the 24th uh, Regiment, or 24th Infantry, uh, the 3rd Battalion in the United States Army was sent to Houston, Texas to oversee the building of a new military base uh, that was going to be used for training purposes uh, for World War I. That base was called Camp Logan. Um, while the soldiers were there, the black soldiers were uh, overseeing the building, they were being brutalized by uh, white civilians and police officers alike. In turn, they um, robbed the armory of the military base and went on a killing spree in a night of violence, which resulted in the largest murder trial and court-martial in U.S. history. Talk a little bit about your character, Boston, and who exactly he is. Was he based on a real person? So I played Boston, William Boston, in the, uh, in the film. He's actually based on, um, there's, in, in real life, his name was um, Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> Cities, right? All the <laughs> Austin, Baltimore, yeah. Um, basically, um, who who was kind of at the heart, not even kind of at the heart of of what happened in in terms of uh, getting the the uh, soldiers motivated to riot that day. Um, and in our film, he is the son of uh, former slaves turned abolitionists. He's raised in New York in an ab in an abolitionist community. Um, parents pass away in a riot in, uh, in Atlanta, 1906. Um, Boston uh, it's continued, continues to be reared uh, by the community of abolitionists, goes overseas to get educated in France, and comes back um, wanting to live out the legacy that his parents began, uh, wanting to be a part of change uh, in terms of race relations and behavior to people who, you know, with people who looked like him to give back some of the education that he had uh, acquired and um, hopefully be, be a progressive part of, um, you know, patriotism uh, for, you know, blacks in America. Mm. Now he gets kind of a hard time actually on, on both sides, both from right. black soldiers and from the white officers. Yeah. Great. So yeah. Discuss that tension because he's a, he's a little bit of a, like an intersectional character here. Absolutely, no, um, I'm glad you picked up on that. It's, it's what we call intra-racism and having to deal with both, it, it, it just makes for an interesting conflict for this character. And I think just in, in life, um, when you really dig deep in the stigmas of what it means to be black, not just from across the race, racial line, but within, um, you know, you, you do deal with um, dark skin, light skin, you know, who has the privilege, who has the opportunities. And there's a bit of a frustration within, um, as you've seen play out in our film. Um, it was very important to us to, to showcase that in terms of how we integrated this character in and truly, you know, break down the stigmas of, of interracial, um, you know, racism, if you will, or the stigma of a, of a light skinned man with a dark skinned woman having a romance or a woman being perceived as something uh, sexual, given a scarlet letter, and basically canceled. You know what I mean? All these different themes that are playing out, you know, then are playing out in our time as well. Just to give you a, a bit of the, how, how timeless this, un unfortunately, how timeless this story is, and how it continues to play out in our, uh, in our present. There are so many moments in the film that are really uh, strong and compelling, but for you, was there a scene that was the toughest to do? I mean, the whole thing, you know, uh, this event was something I'd never heard of. Um, it breaks my heart that A, I didn't know about it and B, what happened there um, and, and the history that, you know, we're, we're left with and the mystery that we're left with, if you will. Um, so all of it, man. Um, I think I can tell you one of my favorite scenes um, and that was um, without giving too much away, there's a scene in the film where the men all come together and give a chant for brotherhood and equality, you know what I mean, amongst them that just really, you know, riles and, and, and you know, rejuvenates, I think, the, the, the patriotic spirit that the men came into town with that was kind of taken away, you know, based on whatever the, the, um, the behavior was against them um, from white counterparts and police officers. But they were able to, um, at this point in the film, um, still be able to step forward in the name of of loyalty and patriotism um, and hope.